Hey guys, this is your friend Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and the third video on how to make a Howey truss over a composite building in Tecla Structural Designer. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first of all, we'll go to the option of model and we'll select the option of roof panels. From here, we'll carefully apply the roof panels. So first roof panel has been applied. Now we can select the second one. So after having applied the roof panels, you can then apply the appropriate or the suitable loads for it. So for applying the roof loads, we can go to the option of your loadings. Let's say we want to apply some imposed load and we can select the option of area loads from here. So let's say we'll give an area load of 2.5 kN per meter square over it. You can give any loads as per your preference. So let's design by simple gravity loading here. We'll go to the option of your load combinations. We'll create some load combinations from here. We're using the limit state load combinations as per the Indian standards. We'll click on finish and then click on OK. Please note the load combinations can be inserted as per any code which you like. We are going here with the Indian standards. So after that, you can just click on design and then design all static. So after the structural analysis and design, the particular sections, as you can see, these are designed and these are safe also. The truss has been designed. You can just click on it and you can check the sections which has been used in the truss. So here it is using a steel hollow sections, as you can see here rectangular sections and uh, you can also observe the sections of your particular columns and as well as your beams so if you want to see you can just click on it and then right click you can already see the details of the member and you can also generate the detailing drawing of this particular member so as you can see the detailing drawing of the particular column has been generated here you can see the section sizes and this is longitudinal section as well as the cross section here and you can also check out the general arrangement drawings if you want so for that let's first go to the foundations options and we'll just create some pad bases we'll design the pad bases and after that we'll go to the drawings option and we'll go to the particular level let's say first we'll go towards your foundation level and after going to our foundation level we can you know generate the foundation layout drawing so as you can see this is the foundation layout drawing showing the footing sizes as well as the columns next we can go towards the any level as you can see this is a level in which we have provided columns of steel beams of steel and slab of concrete so if you want you can also generate the general arrangement drawing of this so if you check out the general element drawing you can see that we have the slab details we have the column details as well as the beam sections so like this we can design a composite structure in tecla structural designer 